I want to talk to you about, about making decisions. There are some decisions that we make that are really easy. What do you want for dinner? What restaurant do you want to go to? What do you want to watch on TV? Those are easy decisions. The harder decisions that affect your life. Do you want to marry this person? Do you want to break up this relationship? Are you willing to leave the marriage? Should you leave the marriage? Uh, those kinds of things. Should you cut off a family relationship with a family member? Those are tough decisions. And there's a lot of decisions that we can wait on because we have the luxury of time on our side. Nobody's forcing us to make the decision right now. Our backs are not against the wall. We don't have to decide whether to start our child in school tomorrow at the school that child is at or switch that child to a new school, that decision has to be made. But even in that one, if you can't choose to pull your child out and put your child somewhere else, then the answer is no. So if you can't wholeheartedly say yes, the answer is no. We know in Matthew 6, 37, Jesus said, let your yes be yes and your no, no. Anything else is of the evil one. Basically, mean it. So when you're going to say yes, you've got to be willing to do that. Until then, it's got to be no. So what does that mean? It means if you're in a difficult marriage and you're wondering, should I stay? Should I leave? Until you can wake up that day and say, I know that I know that I know I need to leave this marriage. Then the answer is no because you're not going to say yes and follow through on the yes until you know that you know that you know. That gives you some time, it gives you some peace, it helps you to not have this churning, continual, restless decision-making process because you are recognizing, hey, you know, I don't have to make a decision until I know that I can make that decision and follow up on it. So it simplifies things a lot. So you want to remember that for today, you can't say yes, then the answer is no. No, you're not leaving. No, you're not leaving that job, you're not changing jobs. No, you're not cutting off that difficult family member. No, you're not throwing that child out of your house. No, you're not going to cut off that relationship with a friend. Whatever it is that follows after that, okay? You're not going to do it unless you can wholeheartedly say yes. With our decisions, Psalm or Proverbs 18.15 says, the heart of the prudent get knowledge and the ear of the wise seeks knowledge. So you're going to keep getting knowledge about situation about your decision and about yourself as you're waiting to make that decision okay so again i just hope that you go to my website check out all of my resources and especially uh 300 change my relationship 365 daily devotions for christians in difficult relationships things just like this video that give you just that those tools that you can use in your difficult relationships. Thank you.